What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Once again, another comparison this time. And as you guys know, I just recently purchased the Samsung Galaxy Fold and it was a long time coming. This phone came out and then it got you know discontinued and then it came out again. So we've, I figured I might as well, if I don't buy it now, I'm probably never gonna buy it or compare it. And the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 should technically be coming out or being announced in February. So it only makes sense now that I go ahead and compare this one to other iPhones and other phones in this caliber. And the specific phone that we're comparing it to now is actually the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, as you guys know, the 11 Pro Max is the newest, basically most expensive iPhone you can buy right now. And the Samsung Galaxy Fold is the most expensive Samsung Galaxy phone you can buy right now. And the Galaxy Fold is even more expensive than the Notes, obviously more expensive than the S series. And what's really interesting is, is that even the base model, even the maxed up top tier model of the 11 Pro Max is still way cheaper than the even one model of the Samsung Galaxy Fold. So there's a lot of similarities, but there's mostly differences between them. Now looking at the front, you can obviously see there's some crazy differences, but I will say the Samsung Galaxy Fold, as you guys know, has that folding display, but it also has that front display that's 4.6 inches. That one is also a Super AMOLED display, but most people are probably not going to be interacting with that. Most people are going to be interacting with the folded, you know, folded display or unfolded for that matter. So in this comparison, I'm only going to be comparing the unfolded display when it's completely open the 7.3 inch panel and not that 4.6 inch panel so looking on the front of both panels we have a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That resolution is 1242 by 2688. What's really interesting is, is that with that panel, apparently Samsung does source this panel. So Apple gets this panel from Samsung and I've always felt like at the same generation, so looking at like the S10 and the 10s, and now the S11 coming out, I always feel like Samsung saves their best panels for themselves. And in this case, I feel like it's a little different because the 11 Pro Max is the latest Apple iPhone technically compared to the older generation of the Samsung Galaxy. And with the Samsung Galaxy Fold, that display is 7.3 inches. It is 1536 by 2152 with 326 pixels per inch versus the 458 on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And in my opinion, I do truly believe that the 11 Pro Max does have the better looking panel. That has a lot to do with, you know, the panel itself, but more so just when you're using it and when you're looking at it, that plastic foldable display on the Galaxy Fold, for me, it just doesn't really look as good as just a regular glass front panel that's on the 11 Pro Max. I totally understand why it's there. It's because the phone can't fold if it's a glass panel, but but that is something that hopefully with technology it'll get better and better so in my opinion i do truly believe that the 11 pro max does have the better looking display right now but you can't forget the fact that this is a folding phone i mean that is a super cool thing in and it of itself and if samsung can actually go and push this boundary and apple hasn't even done it yet i still give plus points to samsung for at least trying something new so even though the display itself doesn't look that great that is seriously such a cool feature that it does fold you know up and down like that so that is a pretty interesting thing on the bottom, we have USB Type-C on the Galaxy Fold, no headphone jack. With the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we just only have a lightning port. And feeling in the hand, definitely the 11 Pro Max feels you know, maybe a little bit better slightly, but the Galaxy Fold just has so much heft to it that it feels like such a luxurious executive phone. So I don't think one phone feels way more premium than the other. If anything, they're both almost exactly the same. The back on the 11 Pro Max has that, you know, like that matte textured glass on the back. The Galaxy Fold has regular glass in the back. And in my opinion, I do truly feel like the 11 Pro Max does feel a little bit better in a way, but the Galaxy Fold is right there as well. Now the Galaxy Fold does not have any IP certification, no dust or water resistance. The iPhone 11 Pro Max does have IP68 dust and water resistance, which, you know, if you're paying for a phone for like, that's over $2,000, you should expect to have some type of certification with it. The Galaxy Fold does not. The iPhone 11 Pro Max does have it. So that is one really, really important thing to note. Now moving on to the software side of things. Both phones pretty much have their latest software that they have right now. The Galaxy Fold, huge news that just got released literally like three days ago. It is getting One UI 2.0, which I didn't know if it was getting or not because I barely even knew this phone was still out. And I'm pretty sure this phone will probably get Android 11. I know I said like yesterday or the day before that it probably wouldn't. I'm probably wrong. I know it's getting the next version. I understand it's, you know, a different type of phone because it does fold like that. So it can't just like, Samsung can't just port over like the Galaxy S10 software. Even though I have reviewed One UI 2.0 on my Galaxy, Galaxy S10, I do understand that it will take time for the Galaxy Fold to get that beta, but this phone will not be getting that release full version until like April or May, which is insane. It's not even getting at the same time as the Galaxy S10, which does not make any sense. When you're getting a phone like the 11 Pro or the iPhone 11 or whatever, you're getting the same software updates at the exact same time, whether you're on a 6S or you're on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. 
So that is really weird in and of itself that Samsung doesn't release this software at the same time. But another thing is, is that for this phone right now, which costs 2000 I paid 2500 for it. Keep in mind that this phone will not last as long as the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And here's the even crazier thing. The iPhone 8, which came out like in 2017, which costs, I think like 459 right now at the Apple Store, that phone will outlast the Samsung Galaxy Fold in software updates. Then the Galaxy Fold, which is insane. You're paying so much money for this phone, yet you're still not even getting the same software updates. And we just saw this in the video I just released right before this. Samsung literally is not supporting the Samsung Galaxy S8 to One UI 2.0, which is insane. So it just, it just boggles my mind that a phone company as big as Samsung will not take the initiative to keep supporting software on their older phones. You know what I mean? Like it's just something so crazy. And that's one reason why people are switching away from Android and going to iOS. The software support for an iPhone is literally insane and I love it so much. So, and software support, the iPhone 11 Pro Max easily wins. And in terms of speed and all this stuff, I mean, I'll hit on the specs and I'll tell you my real world use. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has the Apple A13 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU with four gigabytes of RAM on all the models. The Samsung Galaxy Fold has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 640 GPU, and 12 gigabytes of RAM. There's only one model of the Galaxy Fold that's a 512 gigabyte model. And what I can tell you is, is that performance-wise, both phones are very, very good performing phones. One does not speak to me that it's like way, way higher performing or whatever than the other one. But what I can tell you is, is that the Galaxy Fold when it's closed, it definitely has better performance in my opinion than when it's open and that has a lot to do with the screen itself. With that bigger screen, you have a lot more pixels to push, you have a lot wider of an area. But with that closed display, I always felt like it was just smoother and everything when I'm messing with it. It just feels like a much smoother device in my opinion. When I'm loading apps and everything, it just seems like instantaneous. However, when it's open, it seems a little bit glitchier. It's not glitchier, it just seems like it takes an extra second and animation just seem a little bit glitchier as well. But the 11 Pro Max, you're going to have consistent performance one way or the other because there's only one display. I can tell you what, in my opinion, I think if I had to choose one, I would pr honestly probably end up picking the 11 Pro Max for performance wise. I feel like that phone is just slightly faster than the Galaxy Fold, but it's not by much, you know what I mean? Like both phones are very fast. Because the Galaxy Fold has pretty much the same specs as the Galaxy S10, and I've compared the Galaxy S10 to tons of different phones, I know the Galaxy S10 is an extremely fast phone, and I know my Galaxy Fold is an extremely fast phone too, but between both of them, I don't really see a crazy winner, but if I had to choose one, I would probably pick my 11 Pro Max. You have to also keep in mind that even though the Galaxy Galaxy Fold has 12 gigabytes of RAM and the iPhone 11 Pro Max only has 4. iOS does not need as much RAM to power the same exact things on Android as Android does. So don't let the RAM be like a deterrent. Don't let the RAM be like, oh, because this phone has way more RAM, that's the reason it's faster. Not necessarily the case. The RAM has very little to do with the speed, more so the keeping the apps in the background. So that kind of covers that aspect of it. Moving on to the camera side of things, I'm going to tell you right now, both cameras are very good. They're both almost the exact same setups on both. And I have a couple things I want to hit on. So the 11 Pro Max has three 12 megapixel sensors, a wide angle lens, telephoto, and ultra wide sensor. The Galaxy Fold has three three camera sensors as well, the same wide telephone on ultra wide, two 12 megapixel sensors, and the ultra wide sensor is a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. So in my opinion, as I've stated before with the Galaxy S10 and those camera comparisons, I've always felt like iPhones, iPhones and iOS do way better in terms of video quality and also audio quality. So when you're recording something, it's always better on the iPhone side of things, but sheer quality and features of the camera and image itself is always better on the Samsung side of things on the Galaxy side. So what I can tell you is in terms of the camera quality and everything, I think it's better on the Galaxy Fold, but the video quality and the audio quality, I believe is better on the iPhone. So take it as you will. You can do 4K at up to 60 frames per seconds on both phones. The front cameras though are a little bit different. You have two camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Fold, a 10 megapixel sensor and an 8 megapixel sensor. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a single 12 megapixel sensor on the front. A super interesting thing with the 11 Pro Max is that you can do 4K at up to 60 frames per second. With the Samsung Galaxy Fold, you can only do 4K at 30 frames. So that is a pretty big advantage for the iPhone 11 Pro Max in my opinion. But I wouldn't necessarily pick up one phone over the other just in terms of the camera quality. They're both very good. They both have their pros and cons in my opinion as well. So in terms of camera quality, like I said, video quality, audio quality, better on the 11 Pro Max, but pretty much everything else is better on the Galaxy Fold in my opinion. Now ending it off in terms of battery life, this might actually surprise you guys. So the iPhone 11 Pro Max has, I would say about a 4,000 mAh battery. It's 3969, so almost the exact same thing. The Samsung Galaxy Fold has a 4,380 mAh battery. And you know, you might think the Galaxy Fold will have the bigger battery or the better battery because it's a bigger battery at the end of the day. But the iPhone 11 Pro Max, from my usage, 
and when I owned it, it was a literally a killer device that had great battery life. You can go multiple days. Even my 11 Pro has great battery life. With the Galaxy Fold, you have a much bigger display and you have multiple displays on this phone versus the 11 Pro Max, only a single display. And you know, even though it's, and I've always felt like iOS has better power management for using the battery and everything like that versus the Android side of things. So I'll just give the edge to the iPhone 11 Pro Max in this specific battery comparison. And to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, what I can tell you is both phones have their pros and cons. You know, both phones have very, very great features. Both phones have very, very weird things that are like, just understand, I don't even understand why Samsung or Apple would do something like that. But what I can tell you is, is that the iPhone 11 Pro Max for what you're paying for is a very good deal. I would not, you know, I would personally not buy this phone if I didn't have to and if I didn't have to do the comparisons. I feel like the Galaxy Fold is more of a novelty item. There's really no practical reason to own it just right now, especially with all the problems and everything associated with it. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is a much safer phone, but it's also much cheaper than the Galaxy Fold. And the 11 Pro Max you can get for much cheaper in the used market as well versus the Samsung Galaxy Fold. So if you have all the money in the world, you can go for a Galaxy Fold. But I think for the most people who are going to watch this video or whatever, I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max is probably the better choice in my opinion so that pretty much covers it if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section as well hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so to me so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to love